Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Photo Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Tots Friday on FC24, and I think it's a day we're happy to see because Bundesliga team of the season and these cards that have been unpackable for the last week are leaving today. And we have the transition into League One team of the season. The question is, can League One bring the hype back to team of the season? I think there is potential for it, but it all hinges around one thing, and a lot of other things that are going to happen today as well. So let's dive into what League One Tots might look like. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Now, before we do that, let's take a look at yesterday's Thursday content, the last full day of Bundesliga Team of the Season. It ended pretty quiet, to be completely honest. We did have the Silas SBC that we were looking for. He did drop, but he was 175,000 coins, 180k to complete this SBC. Now, I did it straight away because... I was planning to just for the vibes, but EA is requiring a high cost for the nostalgia of this Silas card. Again, 180k, it's downvoted. I understand why. I did it, used him in the cup. He's decent, he's fun, but that's all the more that the SBC is. Uh, yeah, a lot of you guys, maybe you're done with the cup as well and you're doing League One. Of course, that dropped yesterday too. We'll talk about that. So there's not a whole lot to talk about with Silas. I don't know, could have been a better card for the price, at least in my opinion, but that just kind of sums up uh, Bundesliga Tots, just like, eh, you know, just kind of mid. So we had yesterday as well a team of the season daily login refresh, the new one, right? The same one bronze player requirement, as well as the marquee matchups. And it's probably worth saying about the daily login, you do get a guaranteed team of the season pack this time around too. So make sure you're getting that done. Tots guarantee pack again is the reward. So make sure you go ahead and do that. Also yesterday we had, I don't want to overlook this because it's actually pretty big guys. Um, I think these games start either today or sometime very soon this weekend. Um, there is a FC pro objective for the E champions league games that are going to be happening. It looks like this weekend, May 11th and 12th, there is a lone hemp team of the season card for watching 15 minutes of the broadcast i'm not going to tell you to go watch fifa that you don't want to watch but 30 game that's a whole weekend league and a half for a 700 or was 700 000 coin card on the market 99 pace hemp that's actually kind of crazy um that that is not only one of the rewards inside of here but literally the first reward from this objective so that's pretty crazy i just wanted to point that out you might not think it means a lot but you'll be seeing her in weekend league i guarantee it. Now, the other thing in objectives we have to talk about, of course, is the cup. The League One Cup was dropped yesterday. It's the exact same as always. The rewards you get from the certain sections, Sissoko, Donnarumma, which is actually very nice. If you don't have a goalkeeper for your League One Cup team, you play three, you get this guy, boom, you're good to go. Vitinha as well. He's getting a Tots card today. That might be a good one. And then the Tots guaranteed pack, of course. Um, so yeah, not too bad there. Just as basically as average as you would think it would be. Now, we have been talking about it a lot recently, right? Those League One out of pack special cards. Now, if any of you guys sold those yesterday i think you did the safe play some of those league one tots cards could continue to go up today because of course foot champs is not open right foot champs isn't open until after content and some of these cards kind of reached peak prices i think earlier in the day yesterday not all of them but i'm looking at this jonathan david card who is right around 70,000 coins on the market he went from 70 67k up to like 77 almost 80k and is now back down okocha is another one that we were kind of keeping an eye on big bro okocha for a league one card that people were buying to put in their teams let's see what's he doing he was 75 up to 83 and he's like 77 right now i will say these prices are probably a little inaccurate because footbin is once again rotting with their updates are a little bit delayed but i think if you sold yesterday with your investments that's the safe play again last week the bundesliga cards kept going up into friday and saturday because people were still playing the cup over the weekend as there's a lot of gameplay of course grind during that time i could see that happening also i know there's a lot more investing this week for the league one so if you want to just take the safe route, take the safe coins. A lot of those cards did go up a lot. It was a GG if you invested early in those League One specials. Now, a couple other things to cover, just kind of order of business stuff. Road to the final upgrades, I think, are going to happen today. They should be happening. Fridays have been the day EA penned in as the day for these cards upgrading. So Tony Cruz, right? Madrid and Dortmund in the final. He's getting plus one placed out today. Same thing with Sule. Um, as well as some of the Europa League cards, like um, Tela is going to get a plus one playstyle as well, playstyle plus. So watch out for that. If that happens today or not, I don't know, but I think it's supposed to. So if you have one of these cards, watch out for that. And uh, like we did last Thursday for Prem Tots, I want to do a little bit of an overview of like the club 
from Bundesliga team of the season just real fast. Guys, it was a bad week. And I think a lot of you can probably resonate with this feeling that Bundesliga Tots just was not it in terms of the pack weight. I got tossed so many times. I packed Cole Bell, right? The week of the Taco Bell packs. Packed him a ton of times. I packed Sancho literally three times yesterday. He was everywhere for me. My best pull from this team of the season side was probably Boniface. I kid you not. Like, he was the most valuable pull from my week of team of the season, which is a little bit unfortunate, but it is what it is, and it kind of sums up the whole week. Not a great week in terms of um, like the quality of the Tots cards packed. Yes, 90 team of the seasons we are up to now, it's like a lot, um, but still just not that good of a week of team of the season, and that's why I think we're hoping that this week gets better. You see my coin amount, right? Bros, I had uh, 2.1 million coins worth of 725k packs i opened three of them 2.2 mil rounds up to i opened three of those packs this week G didn't get anything besides mares i did get mares from the mixed league right so that was good but nothing from bundesliga and i think i'm just ready for a change i think a lot of you guys are feeling the same way so another week of tots down let's look forward because we're tired of talking about these cards that are unpackable let's look forward into league one guys where the hype could be coming up today first of all i want to look at leaks because we didn't have very many leaks we don't have a loading screen but we're getting some names now not a whole lot but we are starting to get some names especially for the d1 arkema the women's league first of all vitinha we're going to see a lot of psg today for sure we've seen vitinha we've talked about him mbappe of course the headliner he is going to be in three playstyle pluses probably going to be extinct like team of the year ronaldo today i don't see a world where this mbappe is on the market unless they turn the pack weight up, and I can't imagine, even if the pack weight is up, that he's going to be that pack possible, uh, packable, I mean. So probably 13 to 15 million coins a day for this Mbappe. He's going to be expensive, of course. Gioro has been leaked. Her card looks awesome. PSG links. She could be kind of like Stanway from PSG type of situation. Um, maybe Club 90 if they give her a big enough juice. If she gets those playstyle pluses, that would be mad. Again, we're looking at just the names for these leaks, guys. And we've looked over a few of these, but there are more names to point out here in just a second. Aubameyang has got in two team of the season as well. One of the newest names that we had yesterday was Tiago Santos. And with this leak, the leakers made an update to what they previously said. This card looks like fodder, right? For sure. They also had tweeted out Hakimi. That was the very first leak of League One team of the season, guys. And it sounds like he is no longer going to be in the team of the season with this santos leak the leaker said it might be our mistake that hakimi is not listed anymore as a team of the season or a moments they said he's potentially an sbc they don't know but if they said they make a mistake they will apologize for it so guess hakimi cannot be expected today now like we were seeing before but there are some other player names that are bringing the hype up a little bit. Cherky, right? His silver card, five star, five star. He had the winter wild cards earlier on this year. A lot of people don't like his build in game. He's like average and stocky body type. Um, but he could be a decent card today. I don't know if he's going to be a Tots or a Tots moments. I look back at his stats. That hasn't had a crazy season. Uh, one goal, a five or six or something like that throughout the year of League One. But he's in team of the season today. Marquinhos, he gets in just about every single year. He's going to be probably the premier center back in the tot squad released today as well i don't know i don't feel like i've used the marquinhos this year maybe one time but um he has the fantasy card which is pretty high rated and is pretty good this one though this one's turning some heads who remembers you're a real one if you remember kenny lala fifa 19 and 20 maybe even 21 as well OG FIFA fans remember this card from FIFA 19. It was a year where he had a crazy number of informs. He went off. He got this um, This card here is a, wow, I can't even think of the name. What is this card? Headliners. It was like an inform that upgraded when he got more informs and got upgraded on top of the informs that he already had. And then, of course, he had this 94 rated team of the season card. It's kind of like this team of the season is, is almost like a flashback to that. So that's going to be a card that will have some hype today. Two right backs in the team, though, with Lala and with the Portuguese right back that we just looked at, and no Hakimi as well. Seems a bit interesting, but he is leaked. Now, we start with some of the bigger and better leaks, in my opinion, the women's players, like Basha, right? We all remember the Basha SBC. Her card was insane. She's had the future stars this year. We're getting a team of the season, Basha. She's going to be released today. That card is going to be nuts. Wendy Renard, she had a team of the year card, right? A lot of people valued her card very high as it was very good in game. 
She's getting a team of the season today, as well as Katoto. It's like the whole Lyon and PSG women's teams are getting team of the seasons today. Her card's going to be cracked. Gioro again, as we already had looked at, and Karchawi. So we're getting Karchawi and Basha both in the League One or D1 Arkema team of the season. Honestly, guys, the women's leagues as of right now will almost look better than the men's leagues, to be completely honest. There's definitely going to be more leaks. I know only like five or six players from each squad have been leaked as of right now. So we're still awaiting a lot of that news and information. Uh, so we need those cards to be juiced, right? Bundesliga team of the season, the cards looked pretty good. But the problem, as we all know, and as we mentioned, what is, was the pack weight, right? That was the issue. That is the thing that can save Team of the season, League One today, right? Think back to Premier League. Premier League was pretty hyped because the pack weight was actually halfway decent. You had a chance. I mean, Watkins, McAllister, White, those guys were everywhere. And then you think about players like Sun and Declan Rice. Can you imagine how much Declan Rice or Foden or Sun or even Cole Palmer would have been if they had the pack weight of Bundesliga team of the season? These guards are like all a million, 1.4 million coins for Rice and Sun and Palmer. Those cards would have been double that if they had the same weight as Bundesliga team of the season. We need the weight to get back to Prem Tots levels, like the good cards being halfway packable, not Harry Kane at four mil, from Pong at four mil. You know what I'm saying? We need some more of that packability. That's the number one thing that could change today for sure. And I think that is the thing that really drained the hype off of this game in the last week. But similarly to last week with Bundesliga Tots on Friday, I think I have two cards on his side, so I can't go to the store. I have a lot of packs saved. It's a lot of exchange packs because I haven't been crafting SBCs this week and I've just been putting all my fodder into exchanges. But similarly to last week, we have not that many saved up packs, right? Think about it. Premier League and the first TOTS Live, those first two weeks of the team of the season, bunch of saved up packs. The supply for the brand new TOTS cards that hit the game came on the market in droves right away early on and the cards rebounded crazy after that. I think there's potential that this week... Like last week with Bundesliga, the cards might start very expensive. Remember what I bought Verts for last Friday, guys? If you were on the stream, I bought Florian Verts for 4.1 million coins, like a couple, like an hour after content, sold him for 4.77 million coins about 30 minutes later. And of course, now he's down to 2.4. The prices have dropped off a lot, but they started so expensive because they were so rare. And I think that might happen today with League One. But if the cards have better pack weight, then the prices should make their way down a lot lower throughout the weekend, and we should see some bigger drops. So all I'm saying is I think the cards today for Team of the Season might start expensive. I honestly think that they could, but I think they'll drop down a little bit faster if the pack weight is higher like Prem was. And again, that's the key to unlocking this Team of the Season League One and making it better than Bundesliga is the pack weight for sure. I mean, you guys all know it. That's why I've mentioned a couple of times. It needs to happen. So that's one thing I wanted to mention. But I will also mention too, there's probably going to be a rise on the team of the season cards that dropped today. Remember even last week, and as I mentioned with Verts, he started at 4.1 mil. He like started higher than that, dropped down for like an hour, and then went up for the start of weekend league. Watch that again today. There's probably going to be a rise in prices of the impacts brand new team of the season cards right as we get to the start of weekend league. So you got to buy before that. That's one thing to really watch for. It's probably going to happen again today too. Those cards will move. So we'll watch out for that. But of course, that's enough about the impacts, the pack weight, the content there. Let's talk about SBCs because we do have SBC content that could make some waves on this game today, right? Remember back to yesterday where we had this leak FIFA Romania says, we deserve a top SBC after all these server issues, right? He's hinting at a leak, and it's a Bombazo leak, right? Well, we thought that leak was Patrick Vieira. Still, as of right now, I don't think anybody's 100% confirmed it, but it is looking like that could be a player SBC that drops today. Now, of course, I said I'm not a huge fan of uh, doing this SBC. I probably still won't be unless it's like dirt cheap. I don't expect it to be. But I know a lot of people will be in the boat where they would want to get a Team of the Era Vieira SBC done. So that's something to really watch out for today. He is expected to be dropping. But the other side of the coin is, what have we had every single Friday? We've had a men's Team of the Season SBC and a women's SBC. Now again, with the women's SBC, we don't know who it could be. It could be somebody insane. Last Friday, we had Leroy Sané uh, and the women's card. Um, who was it? Was it Anyomi? Yeah, we had Anyomi and Sané. 
Who are we going to get today? We're going to get a men's player. We're going to get a women's player. But again, watch those women's D1 Arkema links because um, there's not a whole lot of players in that D1 Arkema. And of course, there could be hype there with the good team of the season players released. Those cards could move on the market a bit. That's just one thing to mention. But for our player SBC today, we have like no news. It's kind of a weird week. We don't have a loading screen hinting at anything. We don't have very many leaks besides like four or five players from each of the men and the women's squad. So it's kind of wide open today for possibilities. Hakimi. There's a shout there. I don't know if EA is trying to stay away from Hakimi for some IRL issues. Kind of same thing with Ben Yedder. It'll be really interesting to see if either or both of those guys get a card during this promo. A lot of people have been speculating. Maybe that's why Hakimi was going to be in, but then he was taken out. We don't know, guys. So... Could he be a flashback SBC like it was maybe hinted at in that tweet? I think that's, you know, that's being reading into it and kind of wishful and not necessarily like a leak or anything like that. But that would be an insane SBC 100%. It's just going to depend on the value and the upgrades on the player SBCs. We've had decent ones like Sane, decent, right? Julian Alvarez, pretty decent as well. Friday SBCs have been solid. Let's see if they drop a banger today. Other than that, for SBCs, I mean, we have the 86 times two that'll be refreshing today. Most other SBCs, though, for upgrades will be going away. One thing I did want to mention was from the pack code, get ready for a 78 times two that's replacing the 77 times two. Get ready for this to actually be decent. I hope they don't change the requirements from this and the 77 Bundesliga, like a lot of us didn't touch these, right? Because they weren't worth it. These actually might be worth it because there's so few rare golds in the League One and the D1 Arkema that opening these, you actually give yourself a way better chance, technically, since the player pooler is smaller, of getting a team of the season card from the squads that dropped today. So it might be worth trying a few of these out. They could be halfway cracked. And if the weight's decent, could be a really good week to grind those. Now, also you see that our... Maybe the 83 times 7 equivalent from Premier League and from Bundesliga has been changed to the 81 times 5. And that, again, I believe with the lower quality of 81 plus and quantity of only 5 instead of 7, I think that's because there's less rare golds in both the men, League One, and the women's D1 are coming. I think that's why this pack looks so bad. It's got to be cheaper, I hope, because of what you're going to be getting out of it. And there's probably going to be some dupes as well. But... I think that's just because there's less rare golds that are out there. So that's one thing to mention, guys. The upgrade packs, league-specific this week, might actually hit. That's one thing to mention. Also, TOTS packs for store packs added to the code. We have a two-times League One players pack along with an 8550 as a part of it. It also says one guaranteed to be 93 or above. That's probably going to be 750K. It's going to be expensive. And there's another guaranteed League One TOTS pack for those of us with coins. Hopefully not spending too many FC points at this time of the year just because it is not worth it to spend the money on this game, in my humble opinion. Uh, a two times League One Tots player pack as well with an 84 times 30. So that's some pack code. But I really wanted to point out these upgrades because the 78 doubles should either be out today or tomorrow, replacing the 77 doubles. So a better rating for the League One and D1 Arkema seems a bit weird, but it might actually be a good SBC to grind now objectives talk about those for a second we'll get somebody in there today not expecting anything crazy evos are where the conversation continues because we have not one but two actually two leaked evos and this is also a bit of a shout if you want to do the um attacker or midfielder where are they at um attacking mid connection and defensive mid connection both of those evolutions are expiring today to put people into that's one thing i should mention we didn't have an evo yesterday but there were two leaked Tots plus upgrade evolution. This has to be very similar to like the Tots upgrade evolution that we had, right? That was just, you put a Tots in it and you upgrade it, right? The Tots upgrade series one, this one right here, where a lot of people put in McAllister and some others. I think that's what this is, but it's for Tots plus players from the mixed league. Probably is what that's there. And then also the Tots league one evolution, which we would, of course, since we've had it two weeks in a row now, probably expect that to be a league one specific upgrade evolution kind of liked how this one was last week for bundesliga which it'll it'll make some nice cards um probably won't make anything super duper crazy but if you have some league one golds maybe an inform or two watch those because those could be flying on the market today maybe it's worth checking before content for like an 80 see this was an 85 rated for the bundesliga and the premier league one was an 84 so somewhere around like an 83 to 4 to 5 inform from league one you could do a little bit of research today potentially make some coins if it were to fit this evolution the league one one that would coming out 
could make some coins on that because that card could arise. Just kind of do a little research there if you want to go in and make an investment. I think we'd get two Evos today, though. Hopefully, we get both of those. So in summary today, guys, we need pack weight to be good. We need the cards to be juiced, right? I think back to the example of last year. Premier League team of the season last year did not hit. It was not good. The cards were boosted. They weren't boosted great. And the prices and the pack weight were not that great. People were not happy with it, right? And then right after that, EA dropped an insane Bundesliga team of the season. The cards were way more packable and they were juiced. Same thing with La Liga. Hoping today that EA have seen the frustration and the kind of disappointment with Bundesliga Tots and they do that exact same thing. They crank up the pack weight and make these cards today more packable. That's the key, in my opinion, to making League One team of the season great and hopefully some good SBCs and objectives and of course, the Evos dropping today as well. Now, quickly, let's talk about the rest of the market. Guys, I mentioned it in a tweet just a couple of hours ago. I don't like the Bundesliga Tots cards. If these League Ones are actually packable today, I think the Bundesliga Tots are going to really drop a lot over the weekend. So for me, if I was watching these card prices or if I wanted to buy one for my team, I would not hold on to it for long. I'm not going to tell you to sell the card right now and not enjoy at least the first day or try to enjoy the first day of weekend league games grinding with one of these players that you just got and purchased and maybe you're even making coins on because you bought it on a Wednesday. Enjoy the card, have the fun, play the game, use the guys you want to use. I would just tell you to be careful because with the hype of these cards coming today, I could see, I could see some of the Bundesliga cards having some price drops over the weekend. Don't know when that would start. Could start today. There could be an, uh, a situation if the League One Tots cards start expensive, like Bundesliga did last week, where the Prem cards, remember last week, the Prem cards went up for like an hour, and there was a huge amount of buyback on these cards last week on Friday because the new ones were so expensive, right? Remember Cole Palmer went from like, it was right here. He went from 1.17 all the way to 1.3. And then he went straight back down as people were selling the cards. It was a lot of FOMO buying, right? As these cards went out of packs. Maybe a little bit of that happens with the Bundesliga, but I really feel like they are going to drop more over the weekend than Premier League did. That's just kind of a word of warning that would drop out there for you guys as well. So I'm excited today, guys. I want something to get really excited about. And you know what? It's a Friday of the team of the season. It's exciting nonetheless because the content is going to be decent. We just need the pack weight to be better than it has been. Last thing. We have a League for Tots League number three, mixed league number three team, which is coming out not today, not today. Sorry, my Messi fans, but Sunday, Messi is set to arrive in mixed league team of the season. It had to be. It had to be, right? Of course, we had Ronaldo in team two, still in packs today, too. That is one thing I will mention. Maybe be careful with Fred, Balotelli, Ronaldo, Mares. Their prices could be dropping because. Um, they are going to get supplied today. They will be in packs still at Team 2, Team 3 on Sunday. And uh, yeah, we need Finesse Plus. We need Technical Plus. And I don't know what the last playstyle plus would be on Messi. Comment down below what the last one you'd want to be is. But that would be, this is the 0.7% Messi returning. Let's see how many of us can pack him or if EA somehow mess up this pack weight and make him super packable <laughs> like the team of the year was. That would be crazy. But that card looks like it'll be coming out on Sunday. So big day ahead today, guys. Hopefully EA do the business and make it a W content day on this Friday of League One team of the season. It's going to be hype because French players always get links, PSG links. There's a lot of people that have Mbappe in their team, whether it's player of the months, whether it's the gold card, there will be hype today for League One. There always is maybe less than in previous years, but these are going to be cards. A lot of us want to give a shot. So if you're excited for today, drop a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys in the stream today. It's been Nathan with Account. See you guys there. Peace out.